Good evening and welcome everyone to our uh, flight, uh, it will be the last flight of the day. We have had a lot of flights today. It's Thursday, September 12th, 2019. And we started out from uh, Vilnius and uh, onwards to uh, Riga and from Riga to Tallinn and then from Tallinn to Helsinki in Finland where we are sat now. And we're going to do the last flight to uh, Sweden and that means that we are getting very close to the end of this project. Um, Almost feeling a bit sad, actually. Um, we are stood here, as uh, mentioned, in Vanta Airport, Helsinki, Finland. We are online on VATSIM and are, of course, as always, in virtual reality using our trusty Oculus Rift S. We'll be flying the Zebra Motor 737 and we are flying the Scandinavian Airlines Saga Viking, which we have been flying for throughout this flight. We fly with failures enabled and remove flying surfaces when exceeding g-forces and over speeding so we have to be careful as always uh i'm a bit lost for word actually we have some atc here has been waiting patiently it looks like online so we'll uh, jump in the aircraft and uh, start setting her up so let me just get uh, my seating corrected so that looks good enough for me so I have been uh, taking a rest, been in the Scandinavian lounge in here in Vanta and having some lovely Finnish soup. <laughs> and that was nice and good. So uh, we are ready to move on to Arland to Stockholm. But of course we need to get our clearance and get set up and everything. So first off I think I will be getting some windows here into VR so that we can uh, see what's going on in the world around us. This you, and then we can get this one as well. Here we go, and we can close this. And we'll be asking for our clearance shortly. I just need to prepare myself for that clearance. So we can uh, zero out this one here. Because we will most likely be getting ourselves a new squawk. Let's just see, yeah, he's online. So we'll need our flight plan. Uh, that's not it. Oop. Charge. Uh, there we go. And we can uh, just want to let him know that we're still here. I think he's quite by himself this evening, and it's a bit sad. Oh, my controller's just sitting there doing nothing. So we have information Foxtrot. And. Departure runway is to to right, and we will be flying Yeah Helsinki approach very good evening Scandinavian 511 at stand 20 with information Foxtrot Request clearance for Stockholm Arlanda via runway 22 right and uh, Adivo to November departure. Oh. Scandinavian 511 Helsinki radar again. Clear to Stockholm runway 22 right Adivo to November departure. Squawk 0534 information Fox to this correct. Clear to Stockholm, runway 22 right, uh, and the Adivo to November departure, Squawk 0534, Scandinavian 511. Scandinavian 511, clear to There we go, so there's our clearance, easy peasy. And we'll set her up in a swoosh and get on our way. Need to put this at standby, by the way. Knew I forgot something. I was eating and thinking, ah, oh, I forgot something. I forgot. I was in a rush to get out. Okay, so there's our clearance. So we can just push you back here. Hopefully, this uh, nice control will get some traffic. Come on, pilots. Yeah, we do have some incoming here. I think. That's one there. Uh, from Japan. Go go to uh, Helsinki. It's a nice place to fly, guys. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So I got busy doing all sorts of other things than <laughs> actually setting up. So before we do anything else, we are going on a 
part of one hour flight. So let's just run through everything, make sure no, no one has been in here and tampered with anything. So that's good. And your tap is still on, so we'll leave as is. That's good. Ground power. And. And. Da -da. Here we go, heat is on. These guys are on. We have our logo. Yep. And. You are auto. Good enough. We can pop you down here. And the stall. So we arrived here after the shortest flight of uh, of our tour from uh, just across the Gulf of Finland from um, Tallinn. It was quite interesting and uh, fun. <laughs> it's at least something different than what we have done. A lot more different than the two and a half hour flight legs we had down in the southern parts of Europe. So just uh, moving over here, looking good. You can go all the way down here, please, and Barrow, which you are where you're supposed to be. So we can reset our fuel consumption from our last flight, and no faults detected from what I can see. Nope. So I actually entertained the passenger all the way on the last flight. I had this on the PA, <laughs> so, so it must have been fun sitting in the back. Um, yeah, so that was good. So we have a uh, gear down, it's locked, yep, stowed, stowed, and we can do like this. So we're good. Overheat, fire. And the T-cast, a lovely, noisy T-cast. Adjust, vertical speed. Uh, Adjust, climb, climb now. Climb, climb now. And climb, we still have oxygen, crossing, so that's climb, good. We've been sitting climb, here for 50 crossing, minutes now, climb, climb, so I haven't been away too long. Climb, okay, um, descend, we'll be descend, a bit heavier this time. Crossing, descend, we'll be a 58.2 will descend, insert. Descend, descend now. Descend, descend now. Increase climb. Increase climb. Increase descent. Increase descent. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. Maintain vertical speed. 7.2 tons. Maintain. Monitor vertical speed. TCAS uh, test. Pass. Should be uh, considering also uh, evening out our um, tanks here. So we'll just pop that up here for now. Have been uh, using a bit for, for some time. And we can use the other uh, ignition as well. Okay. Um, where was he? So we'll need, um, that will be the last flight, right? We'll need 5.4 uh, tons. We have uh, 7.2. So we are uh, in the clear. So we have actually flown on fuel from, uh, from Vilnius the entire day. That's quite good. So uh, we'll leave that as is. We'll be cruising at flight level 320. So we'll just pop that in there. Come on, Swedish guys. Give Helsinki some traffic. Hopefully Sweden will stay online for us. So that's 320 set. And our reserves um, will be 1 point, so that's 2.3 we'll insert. And it's to Kungsava, I think it's called in Sweden. That's our alternate. 2.3. Boom. So, da, 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 the routing. And we are in Finland. And we already have the RSS aligned, so we can just pop you in here. Echo zero zero alpha, not much I know. Been to Stockholm several times, so quite familiar there. That will be Scandinavian 511 as we are 
for throughout this project it is our chartered it's a chartered flight and it is our call sign so uh, yeah uh, the part on uh, the to right and we were departing on the Adivo to November so clearance Adivo to November and go to route and from Adivo on November 872 and Silan Ceylon is the start of our arrival into Stockholm Arlanda. So Ceylon to Victor to six. Uh, there we got it. So just checking the route, looking good. Can execute that performance. Zero fuel weight 2.8. And the cost index in here. And Three to zero, so we can just get next page. Let's confirm three to zero. So pop you up here. And two eight three six zero. There we go. So it really did help on my brain activity to get something to eat. I was quite starved there. So time does fly by when you're sitting here. Um, the cockpit in VR. So uh, yeah, let's look at the transition altitude here, shall we? Um, that's our transition. Yeah, so we'll just change that, and we can execute it. 14 and since we don't use any performance tool we'll just derate ourselves to 24k should be more than enough so 138139147 a bit lively there has a tendency to be there and our trim 4.8 always forget to reset the trim wheel should be about right and dry conditions dry departure clear and dry so that's good we like that uh, actually on this entire tour so far we can change there's still time but we have been quite lucky with the weather we haven't had any storm dodging or anything like that so uh, yeah in that sense we are quite lucky so we are parked a bit far off the runway you can see here Okay, uh, we'll do a flaps 30 landing in Ireland and we will of course review this later on. And what we can do is uh, on our route data just check it while we're on the page. So we will be uh, at uh, Pepic, we will be at our top of climb. Um, so. Uh, What we'll do is that we'll change that, we'll just go back and get our average. Not that we need to save fuel, we have plenty of fuel, but just for just for fun. Average between 27654. 54. Pop that in there. Execute that. There we go. And let's uh, have a look at our route. So right hand turn fairly early on onto a Devo and smooth descent into our almost straight in basically it's our landing at runway 26 in Ireland so nothing that I will complain about their speeds and altitudes all look reasonable and we trust that so won't spend more time working on that uh, we can set up our uh, all the other stuff 
in flight or um, our descent and uh, our fix and everything like that. We won't spend time here messing around with that. We'll give the, the nice controller some uh, something to do. So we'll get ready for taxi as soon as we possibly can. Um, Q and H is doesn't say here so we will just tune Have a listen. H one zero one two no six. Advise on initial contact. One zero one two. Information golf. This is Kelsey Kivanda. Information golf. At time one seven two zero. Expect ILS approach. Arrival runway two two left. Runway is clear and dry. Departure runway two two right. Runway is clear and dry. Transition level 5 5. Wind 2 1 0. Degrees 1 3 knots. Visibility 1 0 kilometers. Few 2100 feet. Okay, yeah, we, we got the Q&H, so it's, it's still current, so 1012, and we'll just... Uh, Scan 7320, Scott Q670. So he got some traffic, that's good. So we're looking at 1179 on the MFR rate. Almost there. There we go. And what we can also do while we have that window open is we can uh, try and pre plan our, our pushback. So we need to go all the way out here. So we definitely, definitely have to push back facing north. Scan Navin 220 confirm Lockwood 4 Alpha arrival runway 22 left and direct Gavi Kilo Alpha Alpha. Alright, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Uh, direct to Maroon. Okay. And uh, Private 220 left. Uh, scan Navin 220 negative direct Gavi Kilo Alpha Alpha. Make it to India and it's uh, the Lockwood 4 Alpha um, Alpha. Yeah, so we got that ready. So let's just have a. I just need to can see it really well. Okay, and let's get the charts out and have a look here. So we're going to most likely get on to Yankee or Delta. Um, so most obvious would be to give us delta all the way, and then whiskey delta. Yeah. Delta echo. Delta echo Yankee. Yankee, and then uh, yeah. Okay. So that should it looks okay. Uh. Let's just have a look and at uh, make sure there isn't any. Oh no, Sweden is offline and Stockholm is booming. Oh, Sweden, come online, please. Didn't come all this way. <laughs> okay, so other than that, it would be very. Hope that some of the traffic can go to Helsinki and give this guy some some action here. Yeah, so we are pretty much good to go. Uh, let's uh, start boarding people. Actually, and uh, I'll just have to re review this as well. So, 
this uh, Alpha Delta. By the looks of it. Yeah. Six Alpha Delta. Alpha Delta, Alpha Delta. Zulu Delta here. So this is Zulu Delta. Papa Delta Delta. Yeah, so not Yankee, so it will be Delta 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 all the way. Good, let's... Uh, oh, no more fuel there, so let's just uh, fire her up. And we have the cross feed just to even out the weight a little bit. So, let's get the departures here. Devo to November. There we go. We can tune Helsinki like so. So we'll put in 4,000 for now and uh, maybe he will uh, give us something to work with. So let's get the runway headings. Uh, it's 22218, correct, so that's same heading. Okay. That's good, good enough for me. So we'll be going on the Diva to November, so we'll be turning to 284. Oops. There we go, 284. And 258. There we go. Climb runway track to distance 2.5 at Helsinki and then do the right turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, by then we'll be going uh, command A, so yeah. And we got Helsinki tuned, so that's good. So I'm happy with that. And APU, good job. Come on. There we go. Everything is set here, so I'm happy with that. We can pop this on. And we can trim you all the way down. Oxygen is tested, nav and transit displays, which is auto, normal and auto. Window heat is on. Um, pressurization mode selector is auto. Uh, flight instruments, heading and altimeters are set and cross checked. Yeah. Uh, parking brake is set. And engine start levers are set to cut off. Uh, yeah, so before start, flight deck doors are closed and locked. Fuel we have uh, 7.2 tons on board and 5. Point something required. 5.4 tons required, and of course, four pumps on. Passenger signs are on. Windows are locked. MCP we have 147. 218 and 4000 set and our v speeds are 138 139 for rotate and 147 v2 set CW pre-flight is completed rod and alien trim free and zero and tax and takeoff briefing completed anti-collision lights can now come on but before we do so we will request push and start Helsinki approach, Scandinavian 511, request uh, push and start. Scandinavian 511, push and start approved, face northwest. Push and start approved, face northwest, Scandinavian 511. So that's what we have. So if you come on and. You can come and help us out if you will. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. So we are expecting Alpha Delta, Alpha Delta, Zulu Delta. 
Uh, Papa Delta, Delta, yeah, Delta, 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 basically. So, who is it talking? Yeah, so he's incoming from Stockholm, actually. So, nice to give him some traffic. Hopefully, Sweden will come back. Maybe they're just eating. Copenhagen is you know, online. Looks like most of Europe are. Are coming. Yeah, I could even go to Brussels today. So, but uh, we will wait. I expect us to finish the project All tomorrow right. on Looks a like Friday doors evening. Doors and hatches are closed, and we're ready to connect. So tomorrow, I um, expect us to fly in daytime, uh, as late in the afternoon as I dare before the lights go from Stockholm to Aalborg in Denmark and then from Aalborg we will uh, fly in the evening as soon as I am happy with the A to C available we will fly to Brussels and have a party so uh, yeah then uh, afterwards uh, at some point I will need to fly fly this lovely bird back home to Oslo so that flight will be available as well in another playlist I think so yeah Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pins inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. I am ready to go. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. Two and one to sequence, starting two. Scan the event to do so clear part of the BFX. Bravo India, hope to be the effect. Oh, there we go. So easy to forget something, right? So the probes can come on. Scandinavian 220 correct. So he's coming in on the same approach I had. So most likely if he had haven't landed, we'll be asked to hold. Scandinavian 220 confirm you are descending to 3000 feet as instructed. Engines are still having. If you if you do fast go around, you'll actually in the C will see that uh, the ETG is slightly warmer due to the engines being. Well, so we can start number one. There's our company guy coming in from Stockholm, Allander, Sweden. And hopefully on this flight we'll also have time to relax, enjoy. Learn something fun about Sweden. Whoop. Fuel. So we will definitely be asked to wait, but probably just cool. We'd like to see him touch down if we can make it. Scandinavian 220 via B6. Clear ILS approach from way 22 left to both established on the locals. Yeah, so he's turning for final now. We'll start a cutout. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Parking brake is set. Uh, and we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Uh, probes are set. Not good. And this is looking as we like it. So we can um, full forward, full back, full left and right, full right and left looking good. So. So flaps 5, recall is checked, and and we can get ready to receive some tax instructions very shortly. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Can you name it to Thank you. Pin on the right. It's coming in there. Clear to land. He's very low. Hopefully the controller can hear him better than I can. So. And there's our bypass pin. Okay, before taxi checklist, please. Generators are on. 
and probe heat is on anti-ice off isolation valve is auto engine start switch is continuous recall is checked auto brake RTO engine start levers idle detent flight controls are checked and ground equipment is clear Helsinki approach Scandinavian 511 request uh, taxi Scandinavian one one text to the point Zulu Delta hold short runway to the left. Taxi holding point Zulu Delta hold short to two left Scandinavian five one one. So as expected. So Zulu Delta is here. Straight ahead. There's a guy coming in. No need to rush it, so we have flaps, it's good. We are ready to go. Yeah. We'll go up to the holding point just to stress him, just to let him know that somebody is actually sitting there having nothing better to do than watch his landing. <laughs> People love that. Uh, I know your name, pilot. <laughs> Oh, let's just darken it a bit here. So really help that scenery. It, it's this is the gateway scenery, and they you can find some uh, updates uh, on, for it on um, on uh, the forum, the explain.org. For some reason, my microphone wire likes to tangle itself up today, so. Zulu Delta, so just hold short here, wait for this guy to touch down, and of course we will be sitting there and watching him with eagle eyes. Scandinavian 511 behind the landing company Boeing 738, cross runway 22 left and next holding point to Whiskey Delta behind. After passing uh, company traffic, uh, cross runway 22 left um, via Whiskey Delta and 22 right, Scandinavian 501. Just wait for this guy here. Basically he skipped all of these points, that's good, makes sense, there's only one way to go really, so we'll go to Whiskey Delta as expected. Cancel all of this and enjoy the view. It's actually been a while since I've been holding back for any traffic or waiting, I think we did so in Dublin or was it in Gatwick? Maybe we did elsewhere, I can't really remember. Haven't been to that many really busy airports with controllers, so... I do think we did it in Gatwick, or maybe we had a tail of aircraft behind us, I can't really remember. And Warsaw, we definitely had some traffic in Warsaw, so... There he comes. Scandinavian 220. reason I'm holding here, you never know if he has some sort of converted scenery, he might have a runway completely opposite of mine, but it looks right. We'll go all the way out there just to spook him. So once, he, once he's passed, we will cross and...
why are you flying in? There's something definite, something off with my um, with my CSL package. There should be Scandinavian flights in this. I don't know why it gave me a Delta. That's. So we'll light her fully up. Uh, that one. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. Actually, pop you on. And then so we're fully lit. Approaching two, two left. Scandinavian two two zero second. He's really low. Scandinavian two two zero. You must fix the microphone. Turn it up or put it closer to your mouth. Maybe he doesn't know. Scandinavian two two zero taxi to stand two one. We are really enough. Oh, he got the neighboring stand to us. So yeah, this is flight number twenty nine, I believe. Maybe 28. So we have Sweden to uh, Sweden to Alborg, Alborg, Brussels. So Sweden, Alborg is 30. So this is uh, 29. Pop this down again. Start some radiation here, and we'll review the weather once we get up. But it should be okay. Scandinavian five one one wind two one zero degrees one two knots sunway to two right clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff to two right Scandinavian five one one. So we are cleared. So we can actually do this. Just to remind us that we are clear and show everybody that we are intending to enter the runway so we can, uh, I can't remember, we have uh, flaps 5 green lights and we have transponder to TARA and D-step of 4.8 units D-step so we are good to go. And we have been in uh, Finland for a whopping uh, one and a half hours more or less and that was all it could be. So uh, we loved it here and we're definitely coming back. Hopefully uh, during some event would be nice. Uh, top down ATC. Uh, so we'll be back uh, to battle out the, <laughs> the taxiways here in Vanata, Finland. Cabin crew, please be seated for departure. Approaching two, uh, two, right. A little clear. So we're looking for uh, two one eight. On runway. Two, two, right. Nice big runway, but Vanasa is uh, for Northern Europe, or at least for Scandinavia, the gateway to Japan and the Far East. A lot of flights leaving from here from Finnair, so we can go, we can go Toga. We do have a bit of wind here. So it's rather to keep the center line. 80 knots. That's it. D1, D1, rotate. Uh, rotate. Positive rate. Uh, we can have to gear up, please. Four hundred. The wind is pushing us a bit here, so. One thousand. Perfect. That's one. And we will uh, buck her up. And flat 
What's up? And we have flaps up and gear up to the Covina. Scan even for if one one letter contact passing 2800 feet to report child to the run through our two eight zero. Thousand to go. Scanning Navy 501 passing flight level 330 and uh, clear to uh, flight level 280. Scanning Navy 501. Confirm 310 level contact. Descend to our global 100. Clear to our good for our arrival on way to the left. Create, create direct call. Uh, the 5 level 100, uh, level 4 Alpha arrival, on the way to the left, and here's direct call, before I'm on, no chance to leave on Scan Scanavian 511, clear direct to Runga, Romeo Uniform, let's go for Clear direct to Runga, Scanavian 5 Cabin crew now. So nice that uh, it was online for the duration of our departure. As we're leaving Helsinki in Finland, out there we have the sea, the sea or the Gulf of Finland with the Thousand Islands. We're passing over the Baltic Sea shortly. Well on our way here, so just wait until we pass ten, then we will um, be starting to look at our our setup. That's Tallinn. So look at how short a flight we had. Coming up on 10. Yeah, that's 10, so we call check. Put that on. Pressurization is good. Mm, yeah, we'll pop off our logo as well. And we are balanced. Just turn off this. There we go. So Sweden, here we come. Harlige Sverige. So, um, boom, 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 boom. Echo zero zero alpha. Arlanda Stockholm. And for Arlanda Stockholm, I have freeway scenery. Uh, again, I can. I'm quite quite sure it's a TGD, but it's. Pretty darn good actually, we've got uh, everything you need. Only thing that's really off there is the color of the air, the air bridges or the jetways. They are blue, I believe in real life they are red, so other than that, that's good. Can't remember if you can get some some payway scenery, if you can, then... Uh, if you can, then uh, must have it at some point. So we have... Norwegian flight coming in there. Nordtrans, that's the international company. Coming in from Oslo, no doubt, yep. Lauri. And this guy was Lev Grunberg. Fix your microphone, <laughs> turn up your volume, something. Now, uh, as long as the ATC can hear it, it doesn't matter. You are quite low to me. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's a that something. Yeah, so the controller has a good handle of this guy, and so so 
he will uh, most likely hand us over to Unicom's tune and so landing altitude will be 150 is set and we'll be landing at runway 26 there's the course 2490 that's the explained one that's the one we're going to apply to there's uh, our Norwegian friend passing us out there Thanks for flying by. And of course we need to stay on top of this, I totally forgot. It's always something you forget here in this stressful environment, isn't there? 490, set. So we can get some charts out. So Soon enough we will um, venture out into the darkness of uh, the Baltic Sea and uh, next up is Sweden. We will have a lot of small uh, islands, Hol Holme, I think it's called. There's our Norwegian friend, 5,000 feet below us, going into Helsinki. Too bad Norway isn't a member, they have lovely to see that this evening. <coughs> Copenhagen as well. Riga is online, but Sweden uh, dumped us, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, the arrival is the Sila to Victor. ILS four two six. There we have it. Rogers three one zero descent altitude five thousand feet. Genet one zero one two. It really annoys me the CLS packages. Uh, need to investigate that further. If there's any way to get better better CL CSL packages, uh, should be. So we have Ireland at 116.0, so we'll just uh, get in Helsinki here. And 110.1. For the ILS. Scan even 511, leave my space, as key control is offline, so I'm gonna see Nicole 122 decimal 8, have a safe flight, bye. 122 decimal 8, and thank you for service, Scandinavian 501. There we go. So we'll just uh, shoot him up to our cruise. There we go. Mm. Yeah, so here's the discrepancy. Is it actually two degrees discrepancy? Is that much? Let's just go back here. Two six, two four nine. Yeah, it is. So we'll have to apply to to explain. So our minimums are three to five. So get the VR mouse out. Before we do that, let's have the passengers roam free. Three two five, yeah, three two five. Too much. There we go. And um, just insert this here. Two six. Have the usual rings. There we go. 
and do the forecast as well. So let's do whoop, this one and this one. Too many zeros. And this one. So two seven zero eight one. And two six three five five. Two six four three eight. No, ah, oh, darn it. Two six four three eight. It's going there, and then we have to correct the two hundred. Uh, two six three five five. There we go. And. From let's just uh, cross check the. Oh 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 oh. One two one decimal three. LCG control, very good evening, Scandinavian 511, passing flight level 300 in Pound Runga. Is he uh, controlling all of Finland? Scandinavia 511, Helsinki. Helsinki control, Scandinavia 511. Uh, Helsinki. Uh, approach 126 in uh, Arland, uh, Stockholm. Hmm? Okay, Roger. Uh, when you reach a flight level 320, you may descend uh, pilot discretion's uh, flight level 220. When we reach uh, flight level 320, we may descend to flight level 200. Scan name final one. It's a bit uh, difficult to. Oh. Oh. bit difficult to understand this guy. So we'll just get the text out in case he, he chooses to confirm our... So he wants us to descend to uh, we'll just execute this. So he wants us to descend to flight level uh, 200. When we when we reach top of descent. Helsinki controls, Scandinavian 511, uh, just checking, you want us to descend to flight level 200 now or uh, at our discretion? Scandinavian 
Hey fam, Scandinavian 511. So, we just cleared. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, Finland is getting some good coverage now. Uh, so hopefully they will get a lot of traffic. Hopefully, it looks like Stockholm can be a real mess. Uh, so we'll have to uh, review that once we get there. So, we were looking at uh, the weather. So we'll first update this. So here we are, currently updated. So quite clear weather. We do get some clouds over. Uh, we have Stockholm here. So let's just get that out for us. So a cab okay, 15 knots. Eh, yeah, more or less down the runway. Could be much worse than that. Uh, have a very bad uh, statistic for landing uh, <laughs> rates in all, and that's no secret. <laughs> I can might as well tell it now. So Q and H one zero one two, and that is uh, what we have. So we can also insert that to our uh, forecast. One zero one two, set, execute that, and if we cross check that with the old ATIS which are no longer current of course since it's offline um, yeah it's the same so so we have the Q&H set and let's just uh, go to the progress pages so we have 40 miles to the top of the descent set to arrive at 4.6 So that's uh, 62.8. Uh, 62.8. There we are. At that's set. Mm. There we go. So. 36. So I actually thought we would have a bit more time here on this flight. I didn't expect it to be this busy. Anyway, uh, let's go back to our charts here. So we'll need some airport charts, that's for sure. In case we get ATC. So airport and then some parking stands as well. Rubber routes. So we will be arriving on 2.6, this is the shortest of the runways I think, or one of them, no it's the same. Arriving from on 2.6 here, and it should be pretty decent, we'll find, if there's no ATC we'll just find a spot, otherwise we'll take the tax instructions. So we have the minimum set, we have the reference, we have the forecast page all set up, we have fixed and we're pretty much set to go. And we are cruising at 3 to 0. Currently we should be approaching... Uh, yeah, so we're over the island islands now. So you can see some lights here and there on the islands. There's lighthouses and whatnot. Uh, we do have the ATC here to keep us uh, safe. Um, just mess it up, put it there. There we go. So we do have uh, ATC for a little while, longer at least, and then we go into the fray that is uh, uh, all under. Really should have waited just a wee bit, but uh, we'll try to find ourselves. This guy is most likely going to Ireland as well. Yep. We got one guy coming in, that, but he should be should be fairly clear once we arrive then we have this guy here where you're going yeah he's going to Ireland as well so if we can make it in between this guy here and this Norwegian here um, that should do us anyway let's learn something about Sweden while we have the time we'll probably get a hand over while we're speaking but there's the flag it's yellow and blue 
Sweden is a Scandinavian nation with thousands of coastal islands and inland lakes, along with vast boreal forest and glaciated mountains. It is, its principal cities, eastern capital Stockholm and southwestern Jordanborg and Malmö, are all coastal. Stockholm built, is built on 14 islands. It has more than 50 bridges, as well as the medieval old town Gamla Stan. Royal palaces and museums such as Open Air Skansen. The capital is Stockholm, population is over 10 million and the currency is Svenske Krona. I am not a Swede, but I have Swedish roots, so I know my way around there. And 15 miles to the top of the descent, and we have 220 sets. And we can update you, and actually you should be here. A bit preoccupied here. So you see pretty much on runway heading. Boom you out a bit here. Fun facts about Sweden. Let's see if there are any. Two thirds of Sweden's land area is covered by forest. Yeah, lots of forest, big country. North Korea has 2.7 billion Swedish krona in debt to Sweden. Okay, I didn't know that. Don't think you'll get that money sometimes. <laughs> the fifth biggest country in Europe in terms of area is Sweden. There are about 300 to 400,000 moose roaming freely in the woods in Sweden. There's a moose. The Swedish passport is among the world's best passports. It can give you entry without visa to 124 countries. Swedish music is one of the bi biggest exports. We all know ABBA and yeah. All sorts of Avicii from Sweden, Robin, Luca Lee, and lots of uh, famous. First country in the world to ban smacking, it's a bit of smack your children. One of the highest taxes in the whole, sorry, one of the highest sales taxes in the whole world. It's 25%. We have the highest number of McDonald's restaurants in Europe per capita. <laughs> yeah. The only country in the world where donations stand for more than 1% of the GDP. We are so good at recycling that we even import other countries' waste. <laughs> One of the Swedish kings became a pirate after he was forced away from the crown. Eric the seventh, Eric of Pommern. We have the highest number of patents per capita in Europe. The world's oldest limited company is Swedish, one of the few countries where the land mass is growing without war. Oh, didn't know that. So, do not know if we have time to listen to the national anthem. So there's the top of descent, and we're cleared for that. I don't know if, it, if he will hand us over. If he does so, he will do shortly. And then we have 5-1-1, metal port from uh, around up, uh, Wiener 2 for 0 degrees, 1-7 knots, uh, OK, QNA, it's 1-0-1-2. Uh, you may leave uh, this frequencies to Unicom, have a nice day. Helsinki Control, thank you for met update, it is noted, and thank you for service, well managed everyone. Two zero one two. Thank you, sirs. So, so we are on uh, our descent here, and I did really mess up that message, didn't I? Note to self: self, um, good tip. Don't try to clear your head once you talk to ATC. Just don't sit there, think about descent rates or uh, national anthems or stuff like that, and will just confuse you and you'll just talk gibberish. National anthem of Sweden called Song of the King. Kungsongen. And we will of course see Sweden in daylight in all her glory tomorrow when we leave for Denmark. A bit fast here, so we'll just need to monitor that.
That's because we are a bit high as well, so we will allow the speed, we'll tolerate it for now. And we can uh, say that's uh, good enough. And we will need to do some self vectoring and monitoring here. So we're coming up on 315. So our goal is not to beat this guy or conflict with him. Our goal is to beat this guy. And then we should be all right. And a very nice service from Helsinki to control to just give us a med update for for Stockholm. What is that light? Is that a boat? Maybe that's an aircraft carrier or something. It's a real bright light down there on the water. We are over the Baltic Sea now. And we have come quite far today, all the way here from uh, Vilnius, Riga, up to Tallinn, onwards to Helsinki, and now on our way to Sweden. So we're at 3.20. It's beginning to come at a point where I would like to just... slow us down just a wee bit. So what we'll do is should help us a little bit and then we can uh, can get all our jazz out uh, later on to help us uh, descend. So we have a... Uh, we don't really need to exit anywhere. We could, we could go all the way to the end if we like. Uh, we do have that guy behind us, but it should be no problem. So we'll just go auto break 2. Pop it down to 10. will leave us just a tad high, but it's no biggie and it will uh, keep our speed a little more manageable. I would like to have some buffer up to, uh, to prevent any overspeeding issues. Still no ATC, unfortunately I had really looked forward to speeding to the Swede. And our uh, missed approach. Yeah, it's 1500. Let's go to 25 and then vector ourselves. We'll vector ourselves right. Unless there's conflicting traffic, then we'll go ahead until he has passed and then go right and go back. Try for a new approach. And if it's completely impossible, we'll uh, move onwards. We'll uh, skip the other alternate. We'll go to Jotunboik on the other side of Sweden. But uh, should not. I don't see any issues why we shouldn't. We have plenty of fuel. We can do um, as many attempts as we want. Um, so. Yeah, so you can sit down, please. Sweden is coming into view, out in the distance. Yeah, so we should clear the sky nicely. He has to go all the way around. Well, we have pretty much straight in, so we'll come in after this North Shuttle. So, and Islander is tuned, so we can tune the ILS for Islander. We have 47 miles and we have 46 track miles, so yeah. We have uh, we have basically the same as the localizer distance, so more or less straight in. I won't do any shortcuts here. We don't need them. So um, when it's this busy, it's good for people to be able to have some idea of what your intentions are. So there's Sweden, the coast. So I do, uh, guys. I do know that uh, from the videos that it, you can, you will see a lot of instrument views like this. Uh, it's just a habit, uh, and also it has something to do with the recording software and the way uh, a virtual reality is recorded. It basically cuts away uh, parts of the top and the bottom of uh, what you see to avoid too much screen share because the image you will see the screen share 
screen tear to sometimes in the sides when I turn my head quickly. I do, I do not see that in VR, just to note that. I do not see any tear, but it will show up in the recording. So there's uh, 100. Nah, too early. Not what I was thinking. But we can pop you on. Recall is checked. We have the landing altitude set and our VRF 30 uh, and 145. And the minimums are set. So let's just do the decent checklist. And we also have auto brake 2. Pressure station landing altitude recall checked. Auto brake 2, landing ref, we have 145 and 325 set. And approach briefing completed. And we will update our. Echo, Foxtrot, Mike, Alpha, airport information. So we'll stick with one, two for now. And uh, shoot out a PA as well. We can go here. So now we're just correcting ourselves to the runway. And Perfect timing for our arrival with regards to there being no ATC and how we are looking. We do have TAT 17, so we don't need to worry about those clouds coming here. As you can see, we have actually overspeeded, so... Uh, There's an ago. We have come in too, too low, <laughs> basically. We'll just alt hold for now. There's an ago. There's an ago. So we did come in... Uh, so that's an error. That's what happens if you're not awake and if your thoughts are everywhere. That's why it's good to be two people. Uh, so I uh, completely ignored monitoring our descent and started doing all other sorts of things, which caused us to uh, descend too low, basically, because I forgot that we were not in VNAV. And when you're not in VNAV, you really should be monitoring. So that's pick. Big, big poo poo, but we saved the day and we will, of course, catch up with our profile. If anything, it helps us uh, get uh, nice and steady on the speed. Should be no problem for you now uh, getting us down to 240 in a flash. So there's Arlander lighting up. Uh, it's a bit later. It's, uh, I've noticed it's freeware scenery for Arlander, uh, and I think it's one of the more FPS heavy freeware scenery, so if you are running rather high settings, you actually run the risk of it not loading at all. have had that happen to me actually, so we really need to be careful with that. Other than that, it's brilliant freeware scenery, it looks really good. So our profile is coming up now. We just went down here just to wake up all the children of Stockholm. <laughs> so, so yeah. So we can zoom in a bit now. Traffic is departing, I guess, from uh, one nine right and one nine left. So we shouldn't be. Hopefully they are. We'll see. Although. Uh, there's no real good runway to depart from other than 26. Do you see an aircraft? Is he coming in to land? Is that the. Yeah, that's the North Shuttle landing there. We have someone over there. I'm not sure who that is. Can that be our, uh, our friend? He's uh, really catching up with us. It's going to be a close call, I think. So we'll definitely keep our speed up here. to make sure that uh, we'll make it before him. We'll shoot uh, 
and we can light her up as well. I don't need to play around, so there we go. I'm really messing around with my altitude here today, so now we got a bit high, but that's good. I will give us some extra speed. So he's coming around, that guy. So it, there is a bit of a delay, I think, maybe, or... Yeah, he's leaving for uh, Helsinki, so it's a departure, I think. Runway looks clear, and that's... Maybe that's the guy. Just asking for drag. Give it a bit of drag, give flaps one. Capture to localize it as so. Go flaps two as well. Yes, yeah, so we are nice and clear. This guy, so no need to rush it. That, that other guy was. Those are departures for uh, Helsinki. And from the looks of it, they might actually be taking off from two six. So, located two six, take off one nine right. So, looks like they are staying with one nine right. So let's arm the approach. And coming up on flaps five. There he is leaving for. Cabin crew, please be seated for landing. Stole speed break, we can arm it as well. A uh, bit too early for the checklists. Soon enough we'll go 15 and gear down. 2500. So engine starts with continuous speed breakers arm landing it down flaps 15 green lights and uh, holding on landing flaps. So get Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha Airport information Bravo Runway one, looks two two. six Zulu weather wind two two seven at one two visibility one zero thousand sky condition few clouds at one seven thousand few clouds at five thousand temperature one five two point nine Q and H one zero one two advise on initial contact you have infra stow this one for now. There's the competition. We made it uh, nice and early for him, so it's perfect. Cabin is secured. Two six clear to land. Right, uh, frisky. So we'll, we will go uh, 155 on the approach speed. But, uh, almost uh, 30 knots in our head. And hopefully, that will dissipate soon enough. We are at roughly 600 meters now, so that's uh, quite uh, quite a wind at this altitude. And there's Stockholm. So, uh, 5, 5 and 30. Runway is clear, two reds, two whites. Been flying for 40 minutes, so it's not bad actually. Usually, you take around 50 minutes, but uh, our crazy descent probably fixed that for us. So, clear traffic, that's good. I 
actually this runway there was a they were taking off opposite there was a crash here in 1991 famous crash for, at least for Scandinavians so we are at uh, wait is 2-2 two, two. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Birch altitude set. So we'll disconnect it here. And uh, battle it out with the, the winds. Twenty knots. Approaching two six. So if any of you guys are good coders, please uh, make a good AI first pilot doesn't react to me babbling but reacts to commands so have him call out stuff a bit low here we'll just Five correct minutes. it there we go 18 knots now starting to feel it 400 Approaching minimums. Two hundred minimums. Bit low. We have plenty of runway to play with. So. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. We'll float a bit here. Yet another hard landing, I suspect. Got her down safely, that's what matters. We'll cancel. Cancel the auto brake. Just let her roll here. 3,000 feet remaining. We'll take the exit at the very end. Try to get us somewhere. 2,000 remaining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got you. Remaining. We'll take this one here. Shame there's no way to see here. It's a busy night in uh, Alanda. Lovely airport, and it's a very good scenery uh, that he made here, TDD. So. Go here. Let's find a spot in here somewhere. Maybe I. Yeah, so. was perfect timing with regards to conflicting traffic, so that's good. No need to give ourselves delay vectors or anything. Bit, bit of a shame with the major cock up with the descent there, uh, but uh, just imagine that there was some controller that wanted us low for some reason. Need a little more to roll on here. So yeah, 45 minutes, not bad. Everybody, welcome here to uh, Sweden, to Arland, to Stockholm, uh, an airport that I uh, frequent very often. 
and uh, if you haven't gone here you should go so loved it always uh, very high standard ATC here normally so real big shame that we didn't uh, get any of that here today but uh, we'll hopefully get it on our way out tomorrow so we'll take uh, the spot here besides this Finnair flight so there we go Finnair Airbus and flipping switches at the same time. A little bit skewed here, but we have time to correct it. A very narrow line. Oh, I did it again, I did it again. Oh. So today hasn't been my best day, best day with regards to parking and landing rates and just one of those days, those days I guess. So cabin crew, please disarm doors and slides. Oh. There we go, and yeah. So here we are in uh, Stockholm. Uh, yeah, I flipped. This. That's the annoying thing with the switch activated announcements that if you flip one wrong, they go absolutely bonkers in there. But yeah, we made it to Arland to Stockholm. What a day of flying. First from Vilnius to um, Riga, then from Riga to Tallinn, Tallinn to Helsinki, and from Helsinki to Arland to Stockholm. And now I will retire for the day. I think I have earned it. And we are of course parked here in Arlanda, Stockholm. Let's uh, just end the flight lake and uh, walk outside and have a look, shall we? So we have things as we would want them. We could of course uh, set the jerks are connected. Just kill the noise there. Let's take a time for the APU to wind down. Oh, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. And on, not only on the line, but on the damn stop line. That's not bad. And of course the, <laughs> the jetway fits perfectly. So, but for some reason the door hasn't opened, so we'll open that but not a bad parking I must say I'm quite happy with that so yeah all under Stockholm people freeway scenery you can find it on the forum as you can find all the other freeway sceneries as well I had a lovely day flying so this guy is coming in uh, yeah so he isn't even yeah he is coming in on 2.6 sorry yeah he's coming in correctly so that's the one we were competing with uh, so let's have a look at the landing rate, shall we? Uh, there we go. And move the R. And we'll take this and we'll shut you down. Make you nice and big if we can. Please. There we go. That should do us. And 314. Yeah, so could have been worse. Wasn't that actually... I feared it were worse. Uh, it's not, it's not butter, but it's what you would call a, a firm landing. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So we got it down. And if if it were raining in a wet runway, that would be uh, our preferred landing rate. You know, the other day I talked about we were landing in the rain. I think it was in uh, in Prague, was it? I wanted to really bang it down, and this is what I would be looking for. I'm happy with that, so we can complete our flight. Boom. Here we go. There's our route. Nice and straight. All the way from Helsinki to Stockholm in Sweden. So we uh, have really been around. Um, let's just have a look here if I can. 
make it work. And maybe if I use the mouse. There we go. And if we pick this flight here. So Project Fly is also, you can, there's a free ver freeware version, you don't have to pay to sign up and use, and I have the free version, you don't pay for it yet. Here are all the flights we have done on this project. All of them. And down here we have our map of our uh, flights. Uh, only one flight that I know of. What's happened to that guy, has he... Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess you can do that. Where, where did you go? Did you log off, maybe? Yeah. Anyway, here we are, standing in uh, Alanda. We uh, only missed one flight from, uh, I think it was from uh, London to... Uh, yeah, from Edinburgh to London, that one we missed. Other than that, we have all the flights we have done. So we have got gone all the way here and ziggity sack, ziggity sack through um, the Balkans and then through uh, Central Europe to Poland. Then uh, we started out here this morning, or this afternoon I should say. And we have done a pretty good chunk here. So what's left for us to do actually is to go, and I know by the way that Norway is not a member of EU, that's where we left from when we entered Germany on the first flight. Because uh, Cardamon is my home airport. So what we have left to do is go from Stockholm to uh, Aalborg in Denmark, it's here. And then from Aalborg we have a pretty decent flight, Good time, plenty of time to reminisce and uh, remember and look back on a uh, project. So we have a good long flight down to Brussels, the epicenter of the European Union, that's where all the ministers and commissars are. So that's where we're going to end. So basically two flight links to go. So. Uh, this was our flight number 29, people, and we have been doing this for almost on Monday. It's exactly four weeks since we left off. So four weeks is what we have spent, and we haven't been lazy either. We, I've really been flying all the time I have had at my disposal. And two flights left. So not bad, if I should say it myself. So we'll just shut it down. So I hope you will join me uh, tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. Of course, it will take a couple of days before the videos are online, but uh, I, I do hope that uh, flying on a Friday, I'll try to delay the flight so that uh, we'll fly in the evening. So it'll be an evening arrival into Brussels, um, due to the fact that I would like to have ATC and the uh, chances are best at, uh, at evening time on the Friday. Friday it's really coming alive and Saturday as well. So uh, I plan to do a two sector flight tomorrow on Friday and I'll start uh, in daytime here in uh, in Stockholm Island and we'll go to Aalborg Airport in Denmark and I'll probably arrive there uh, in daylight as well and I'll eat some dinner or something and then I'll come back and do a flight around this hour and hopefully 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 we'll have ATC all the way it would be awesome um, and we'll finish off and uh, it'll be so much fun I have really enjoyed myself this far hope you have as well um, as always, do like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. It really helps me build the channel and promote flight simming. <laughs> That's what it's all about, making it even better. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the flight and I uh, wish you a very good evening uh, from here on. And I'll be checking out. Bye bye.